During Meghan Markle's fifth installment of her Archetypes podcast, she addressed negative labels are often used to dismiss women. The Duchess of Sussex discussed how she and other women are called crazy and hysterical to minimize their problems. Her guests included actress Deepika Padukone, comedian Jenny Slate and actress Constance Wu. Raise your hand if you've ever been called crazy or hysterical, or what about nuts, insane, out of your mind, completely irrational? The Duchess of Sussex, 41, asked the round table of women. Okay, you get the point. Now, if we were all in the same room and could see each other, I think it would be pretty easy to see just how many of us have our hands up. By the way, me too, the Suits star added. Meghan did not elaborate on who had called her such names and she did not clarify if she was speaking on public perception. Taking to Twitter today, Beers reacted to an article that addressed Meghan's most recent comments. It read, Meghan Markle, I've been called insane, hysterical and crazy. The uncensored host took the opportunity to speak on the Mom of Two's recent podcast. In view of his 7.9 million followers, Piers wrote, To be fair, I don't think she's any of those things. Dry, ruthless, hypocritical. But many on social media disagreed with Morgan's opinion. Social media users have since taken to the micro-blogging site, as they offered their support to Megan. Twitter user, Stephanie tweeted, Thank you, Megan, Markle, for giving a voice to women and bringing awareness to the tropes we women often face. Genpoint Secretary Penn, first time listening to Meghan Markle's hashtag archetypes and I get the excitement all around it. A very thoughtful, well-created podcast for everyone. George Alagaya steps back from BBC News as cancer spreads latest Amanda Holden risks wardrobe malfunction with racy leg pose picture Zulrika Yonsoon feels uneasy over Heidi Klum and daughter's sexy pics column, Morgays commented, this episode was heavy. I'm trying to work after listening to it and I can't get out of my feelings. She's doing a fantastic job. Sick, Denise Newton remarked, keep going Megan. Your show is empowering, inspirational, impactful and uplifting. You know your story and experiences, please keep sharing. Rise above the wicked noise and continue to soar because you're positively touching millions of lives. You are absolutely winning. The brazen bent, wow. I am blown away by the content of these conversations. I love this week. Cried a little too much, though. My girl knows how to get at the heart of an issue. Megan later added on her podcast, calling someone crazy or hysterical completely dismisses their experience and minimizes what they're feeling. It keeps going to the point where anyone who's been labeled it enough times can be gaslit into thinking that they're actually unwell or sometimes worse, to the point where real issues of all kinds get ignored. Well, that's not happening today. She added, I feel pretty strongly about this word, this label crazy, the way that it's thrown around so casually and the damage, it's rotten for, society and women, frankly everywhere. From relationships to families being shattered, the reputations destroyed and careers ruined. The stigma surrounding the word, it also has this silencing effect. This effect, women experiencing real mental health issues, they get scared, they stay quiet, they internalize, and they repress for far too long. Megan also said she finds it difficult to cry as she is conditioned to have a certain kind of composure but she wants to let it out, 